Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Rust update video. Yes, Rust on console. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rust on console update that is going to happen tomorrow, the 28th. Now, today... We got some news from actually one of the community managers on the Discord for the pre-order beta. If you guys don't know, there's a Discord for the pre-order beta, and you could always look that up. This information is on that Discord. Now, if you guys don't know how to get to the Discord, I would say message Pedro or send him um, something on Twitter. That's usually how he gets back to you quickly. But regardless of that, let's just go check it out. Now, he said that he created this thing called notion does add that as oh rust he says the easiest way to do it is just to basically type rust on console um rust point double eleven dot com slash status so this is what you're gonna get the rust on console status edition now he it, right here has all the information you want i would call this a roadmap almost and almost it gives you updates on things that are gonna happen here soon you know so if you come down this way if we go right here it literally tells you right here, important notice, service issue. So right here, it's going to actually list everything that you need to know in regards of the issues that the 011 developers are aware of and things that are they are currently working on. Now right here, it says service issues. We haven't been identified. Stress areas, records, corrupted players exposed. We are, we're having a median high number of imp improvements to the date on cur and are currently migration to new hardware to massively reduce anything you will experience this will hopefully make a beta experience a very stable um, this is experience very stability but could expose other issues we are working around the clock to ensure the best experience possible the closed beta performance was rough at the start too but improved quickly throughout the beta this is the so i know that like a lot of people are talk to say oh this is the same this is the same as the closed or limited beta i'm gonna tell you right now without disclosing too much information on the limited beta because you know it's still nda on um, limited beta and it will always forever stay nda trust me it is nothing the game you're playing is nothing compared to what the limited beta was the limited beta was far more buggier it had a lot more issues than you are currently experiencing now these are the things that are going to come out on tomorrow's patch PlayStation crashes. I know that when I was streaming on the last couple of days, you guys were complaining about, hey, I play on PlayStation. How are you even on the server? Hey, I keep crashing every five seconds. Hey, this, this, and that. They are aware of this. And look at this. The top three crashes have been fixed in the new patch. A lot of the blue screens will be captured with this. It says QA testing overnight submitted to platform um, in the evening of tomorrow. So that means that... The patch is gonna come on tomorrow, the 28th. So, and then Xbox crashes. While at the smaller scale than PlayStation experience, the top three crashes have been fixed on the new patch, which is coming out tomorrow. So, this is great news. For those of you that are currently saying that the beta is unplayable, that this is just too much and stuff like that, they're literally telling you that it's gonna come out on tomorrow's patch. Now, Xbox Series X input like, um, Input lag. Uh, so I know that a lot of you have the now nah, the Series X, and a lot of people are saying, "Hey man, this is this is trash for the Xbox Series X. Like, what's going on with my graphics and things like that?" They are aware of it. Says pre-order beta was first time this has occurred. The test in previous beta showed that great performance, but for some reason, this beta was not showing great performance when it came to the Series X. A fixed expedition, a platform requirement, and already submitted to the platform for the testing ahead of release. So, obviously, they're currently working on the Series X from what it seems like. I don't think the, the patch, it was patched, and it's not going to come out tomorrow. So far, from what it looks like, the only things that are going to come out tomorrow on tomorrow's patch is the Xbox and the PlayStation crashes. They're going to fix that. So, now, if we come over here, this is actually pretty cool. Double Eleven AMA, Ask Me Anything. So, they're going to have an Ask Me Anything on April 29th, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is Friday. So that's pretty cool that they're going to have that actually on Friday, you know. So that's awesome that they're going to have that, you know. Um, Ask me anything. I mean, you could go over there and ask them things and stuff like that. Now, this is what is going to be on the patch and the status of the patch. This is cool. Xbox Series performing patch status with platform testing. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like it is going to be on the patch tomorrow. Obviously, the Xbox 
uh, and PlayStation pre-order beta 1.2. That's what that's the patch that we're going to be on. Status and development submitted. It says this, these are basically going to be the things that are going to be on the patch right here. The status term says planning. We are... It says we are using the feedback bugs report and the data that we created on the next to focus. Is it and development works, things like that. Oh, okay, so he's explaining right here. Ah, okay, I got you. See, this is the roadmap right here. Expect the new patch to have this keys to table to do and the queue to start and process. One of the it says one or more team are working on it. Resolve we have fixed and it says things like that close. Okay, so I get it now So he's basically putting right here the categories of what's gonna happen right here. That is pretty cool So if you come down this way, and I remember I saw this um, Right here it kind of tells you it says auto run is gonna come out on patch. Oh, that's awesome So on patch 1.2, we're gonna have auto run. Let's go Okay, so it's close um, it says right here that when it's closed, it means it has been confirmed. The fix is ready, and, and it says for all known cases. So they already fixed it. So that means that the build is going to be on 1.2. That's cool. Reverse strafe um, changes. Ooh. And it says fall damage when locked down. What? People are getting fall damage when locked down? I didn't even know that. Um, can walk around death screens. <laughs> Wait, what? People could do that? That's actually cool that they did this. Resolve server cannot kill at respawn from pause menu. That's kind of annoying. Um, resolve. Okay, so this was resolve. This is going to have on patch 1.2. Missing building at harbor. Oof. Um, aim assist merch from features branch. Okay, so they are going to have aim assist. That's pretty cool because I know a lot of you were asking me like, hey, is there going to be aim assist? And I was like, bro, I don't even know if there is or isn't. I mean, I don't play an aim assist, so I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know that. Nor have I researched it like that. Now let's actually make this larger so we could actually see. It says you will be optional to expect servers only. Okay, so they are gonna have aim assist, but only on particular servers, not all servers. That's cool because I'm doing pretty good right now. My aim is getting a lot better than what I expected. Uh, redacted head headset not working for chats. Okay, so does that mean that proximity chat is going to be working? Or what's going to happen with that? A certain popular headset had voices issues. Oh, so that's why they took it out. This is another thing that was resolved. Server connection fixes. Uh, Rust console side servers filter. Okay, so another one that we're going to get on patches is crash setting from server's favorite. Server's pink crash fix. Server uh, Series X port performance. Ooh, that means that we're going to be able to get a patch for the Series X. I know a lot of you are going to definitely, we're talking about that. Not only on regards to like the graphics, but I know that you guys in the Series X were getting like um, delays and just things like that, you know? Missing furnace and SMG skins. There's SMG skins. Wait, hold on a second. What? <laughs> oh, I think he's talking about like when you have the gun for some reason the you couldn't see the gun it was like transparent. Okay, I think that's what they're saying. It says sorry for this bug. Thanks to the community feedback and memes, <laughs> we're fun around. <laughs> so people were putting memes and stuff like that. That was pretty funny on that. Um, they're laughing about it. He even put a little smiley face on it. It says remove the NDA text from the beta screen. Yeah, this is one thing that a lot of people were asking me about. They're like, oh, it still says NDA. It still says NDA. It's no longer NDA. And if you guys don't believe me, if you come over here to the news press and the one that is right here. And if you go all the way down this way, it literally says right here, will I be able to stream it? Yes, as soon as the pre-order starts, the NDA will be lifted. For those of you that keep asking me when they will come and stream, and be like, well, I don't, I don't get it. This is an NDA. <laughs> Missing redacted symbols, some network stuff. Test redacted, Um, remove streaming blocks. Um, So, oh, so people weren't able to stream. I remember that. There you go. They removed that streaming block. Cool. Pumpkin and corns related optimism. <laughs> Dude, the amount of pumpkins we have outside of the base are ridiculous. Server-wise time display. Oh, that's cool. So now this is going to tell you the server-wise, the timer. That's dope. It says team system issues, clients running after after kick. What? Okay. It says none friends can be heard talking when friends only um, privately privilege set. Okay, so that's cool. So we're going to be able to now have proximity chat. And be able to talk to people. That's pretty cool. Skin loading hang. Translator update. Um, voice chat quality improvements. Cannot place open doors. What? I didn't even know that. 
the red X on the trees disappearing. Okay, that's cool because I was harvesting and I was pretty like, damn, man, this sucks. Where do I hit? Invisible player slash objects. This is a big one because I know in the patch, a lot of people are complaining about invisible players and objects. Like, you know, just it, it happens and it was kind of sucky because you would get shot by invisible players. Receiving data loading hang. Um, if we're, okay, so you get the point that this is kind of cool. These are going to be in the in the 1.2 patch that they're working on. It says to do, to do. It says in progress, in progress, in progress, in progress. So this is kind of cool that this is going to be coming out. So it looks like so far what we could expect to get in 1.2 is going to be the, the, the fix um, issues when uh, poor performance on Series X. The fact that there's no longer going to crash or the fact that they fixed the three top issues and crashing on PS4 and on Xbox. I know PS4 was having a big difficult time when it came down to this type of things. So that's pretty cool that they were able to fix all this stuff. And now we're going to be able to play the beta a lot more often. For those of you guys, if you guys are not in the beta yet, in order for you to have access to the beta, you do need to purchase the deluxe version of the game or the actual ultimate version. If you ask me. Um, if you want to, if you guys can't afford the deluxe version, then just buy the regular thing and wait until May 21st for you to be able to play the game. Otherwise, if you want to join on the deluxe version and the trolling is and the fun that we're having, it's going to be right here. <laughs> what can I say? Buy the deluxe version. It's only 60 bucks. I know for a lot of you that might be a lot, but I mean, it's only 10 more dollars really than the actual regular game. So it's up to you. I suggest, in my opinion, it's a fun game. If you guys don't think it's fun, then why don't you come on over and join one of our streams? I will be streaming. <clears throat> I can't really give you a set date because my streaming schedule is kind of like all over the place. But if you are more than welcome to check out the Daisy Moments. So what? Daisy Moments? What am I saying? The Rust Moments. You're more than welcome to check those out. I do have Daisy Moments if you want to check those out. But on the Rust Moments, you're going to see me playing along with the members of the Boyfriend Squad. That is Jay Monkey and RazorTube. I'm playing on them. With them, I should say messing around playing the beta doing all the stuff now that the patch or the new wipe is going to come out tomorrow we're going to be able to start our new so this is going to be a lot of good times what can i say otherwise guys thank you so much for checking out the video i hope that this helps out a lot because i know a lot of you were frustrated and i hope to see you guys on the next time all right bye for those of you that are still sticking around make sure to go check out those videos on the left side hand and make sure to go check out those guides as well as the day as the rust moments and just and you know enjoy